Hey. You okay? What brought you in today? Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's always really hard when you fall in love with somebody and it doesn't work. Sometimes due to actions, other times due to just drifting apart. Other times it's just completely unexpected and you don't know what even caused it. How long were you with the person? Yeah. It's a long time. Have you spoken to them since they broke up with you? This was kind of a bad breakup, huh? Well, before we get started, I guess, do you want some water? Yeah? Okay. I brought you a bottle, just in case. gestures. Okay. So go ahead and pretend that I was the person that you were in a relationship with and say whatever is on your mind or whatever you wish that you could have said that you didn't get to say. Because sometimes just being able to get it out really helps. Whenever you're ready, you take your time. If you need to cry, cry. Get it out. It's okay. Even if it wasn't your choice, what are some ways that you can cope? No. Sitting around, sleeping all day, not eating is not a good way nor a healthy way to cope. Do you have some actual ideas? Because I know you're just giving me a hard time. Hanging out with friends, or starting new hobbies, or just doing things that you enjoy doing. Maybe going on a hike, fishing, checking out a place that you haven't checked out yet. Doing things that used to do with a person can be a little bit difficult. It can dredge up memories, um, which will be hard at first. 
because it's just so soft and new what you went through. But after a while, it will get easier. And you'll be able to do those activities and not have to worry about any things. Mm -hmm. okay. Especially doing new activities, you might meet new people. And it's not a place where you would think about doing any, like, memories of doing with her or him. Um, but, I mean, I'm not assuming, I'm sorry. Um, so, you can always check, like, go online, see local meetups, or Facebook always has events if you have a Facebook. And hey, maybe you'll meet a person there. I don't suggest jumping into a new relationship at all because it's good to let your heart heal. Um, the poor thing. It's okay. It's good to learn how to be independent and to thrive by yourself. Once you can grow and be your own person, then you don't have to depend on anybody. And then you can meet another person, both be independent people who are not only better together, but also just fine apart. And that's very important. So many people depend on another person to make them happy, which they shouldn't. They should find that happiness inside. Oh, it's okay. This is a safe place. You can always cry here. Don't ever apologize for that. So, I think that if you don't already write in a journal, you should start writing your feelings. It'll help you get over everything and move on and hopefully help you sleep better. I know that every time that I had a bad breakup, I always had trouble sleeping. The first time was, um, I dated a guy for two and a half years and cheated on me. And, um, it was the day before I had my driving test. And I didn't get a wink of sleep. And I still had to do my test. Luckily I passed, which was very good because I love driving. And maybe you just need to find a passion for something new. Oh, I think it's up for you. It's gonna be okay, I promise. You just have to give it time. Let your heart heal. hard at first, but you get stronger as time goes on. In the end, you might find yourself happier than you were in the relationship. Sometimes it happens. Or you find out, most of the time people do realize that they're just quite fine with the other person. Give yourself time to heal. It's the important part. I know. You always thought the moon and the stars are fun. But no matter what we think of another person, we can't control their actions or their feelings. They're going to decide to do whatever they want to do. No matter what we want from them or how much we wish that they would do something else. It's just life. We have to do what's best for ourselves. And what's best for you right now is to relax and breathe deep.
Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Fuck does not know how to breathe deep. I'm so sorry. I know they're therapy dogs, but sometimes I kind of wish that they breathe a little bit softer. listen to you, right? Good. I want you to make a list. And if it's not long at first, that's completely fine. If it is long at first, even better. But either way, it's a-okay. Every day. Right, well, today, I want you to take a piece of paper and with a pen, so it doesn't fade, write down positive affirmations. Things that you think positively about yourself. And list them out. And then, if on a different day you think of another thing that's good about yourself, add it to that list. Every single day, I want you to read that list. Preferably three times a day. Morning, afternoon, and right before you go to bed. That way you're starting your morning with confidence. And if anything happens during the day, you can go back and read that and it makes you feel a little bit better. And at night, you read it just to do one last reminder. After doing it so much, you just automatically don't think about it. And it might randomly pop into your head, and you're just going to randomly feel so good. So, I would like for you to do that. And don't be shy about it, because you don't have to bring it in here to tell me what you've put. But if you did, I'm, I'd be honored to be able to read it as well. But I do want you to put that you are strong. You are brave. You're a beautiful person, and you can be independent. You can do this for yourself, okay? Okay. One tiny step is still a step. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad to be here for you. People need hugs sometimes. It helps relieve stress. It can make them feel safe and secure. to do today? Correct. Write those positive affirmations down and give yourself time to heal. Next time I see you, I'm sure you're going to be a new and improved person. Yeah. You're so welcome. Please come.
gonna be okay. I'm here with you every step of the way. Take care, my dear. Till next time.